Okay, guys, so I bought this portable ultrasound machine from Amazon, and um, I was actually very excited to get it. Uh, it is very hard to use in the beginning. Um, I've watched several videos on how to use it. Um, I've even read some of the manual uh, pages, but it was still very difficult to operate. Um, it is a very small machine, it's portable, and it actually has a battery in the back. Um, so I plugged it in the first time I used it. And then the battery charged a little bit and now it just turns on on its own without the plug um when you first turn it on you get the welcome message and then there is um you know several buttons here i'm still not 100 percent sure on how to use everything um this is the 12 volt machine uh there are a couple options online there's a 12 volt and a 16 volt and the only difference is the probe that comes along with it um this one is like a thin um a thinner probe from the top uh versus the 16 volt um i believe with the 16 volt you can probably get more into the uh, screen than this one um the plug it's, it's very simple this piece here and it goes right here on the side um, it only goes one way so so I just kind of like fiddle with it until I find the fits in and then I just twist this piece here until it's secure okay so today I'm going to test this on my pregnant Maltese um, I'm actually not exactly sure how many weeks she is um, because we didn't notice her pregnancy until really late. We thought she wasn't even pregnant. Um, if she is, like according to our first uh, mating, um, I believe she would be due in two weeks. So she would be seven right now, which is kind of late to use this machine. It's better if you use it um, when the female is earlier in her pregnancy to confirm pregnancy and then the sex would be easier to see so hang along i'm gonna grab her and then we'll start using this thing see you okay so um you have to get some kind of lubricant to use the uh um to use this thing the probe the probe um but i don't have any so i went ahead and used aloe vera I went ahead and uh, got this aloe vera gel. Um, there's people online that say you can use um, lotion, but I feel like aloe vera is just much easier. So we're gonna go ahead and start. To start the machine, you just click anywhere. Okay, and now we have a little screen on here and this thing ha is turned on. Um, also, I think that the best position for the female is probably between your legs. I have her sitting here so I can make a barrier on both sides so she's she doesn't move. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, slide this around a little and then start looking. So what I'm looking for is a black circle, which is a sac, a gestational sac with uh, the baby inside. All right, so to use the machine, you just have to click anywhere. Uh, once you turn it on, it stays at this welcome screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and press seven, which is the full view. And uh, here's the probe here, it turns on. Uh, there's a button on it to freeze the picture. See right here, it says freeze. And then to, turn, to just click that button again to unfreeze. All right, so my little girl is here. Uh, I did put some aloe vera on her. Uh, like I said, uh, aloe vera is a good alternative to ultrasound lube. Okay, so we're going to put this on her, move the lube around a little bit, and then just look around for, see right here, right on the top, I already see a baby. It's that black sack right there. It's a gestational sack. And then it looks like there's something moving in there. at the very top of the screen see can't see the whole sack um this is at the top of her belly 
That's where I'm starting. Okay, give it a minute. See, it's moving. This is, the machine is, is very nice, except you really have to fiddle with it a little bit. Um, there's buttons for contrast and frequency. Right now I'm on the 3.5 megahertz uh, probe uh, option. Um, when I went higher, I couldn't see anything. Um, but let's see. And I really hate pushing on her belly. So I'm trying to be very gentle. Um, keeping her very comfortable throughout this. Okay. So right now I can tell that there's one right here, up here. Of course, babies move, so... I'm going to go down a little to see if I can find more. Okay. Right there. That's a very good one on the side. You can see the head. So the black is the gestational sac. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a better picture of the sac. And the baby in me. Let's see if it moves for us. I think he's sleeping right now. Come on, baby. Okay. So those are actually pretty big babies. They just moved. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to freeze this and measure the sac. So this machine has an option for a due date calculator. Okay, remember the freeze button is on the probe, so I can just have to get a good picture. Okay, this, this is a nice sack. Um, size now. I don't see a baby in there anymore. Okay. Look at him moving. trying to do is get a nicer image on the screen so I can freeze and measure like I said this is not this is not easy work I've never done this before and it was much harder than I thought but this is baby number two baby number one was on the top this is baby number two here that's a good image Okay, I'm gonna give her a little break. So we get a click on a measure. Oh, reference. Okay, so there's a bunch of options for reference and we are going to measure the gestational sac diameter, which is option two. For dog. For dog. And then you click on this button here. Oops, not clear, sorry. Reference gestational sac is two, and then we need to measure. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't really remember. 
I'm supposed to get a an X on the screen to measure it. Hmm. After you freeze it. Hmm. Okay, hold on guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay guys, I finally figured it out. I had to take multiple images of the baby. Um, but this is the baby's head on the screen right there, if you can see it. And I put two X's on each side of it. And the machine ended up giving me a due date calculator of September 6th, which is actually the incorrect due date. So I'm not sure, um, I've read a lot that um, you have to do this earlier when the babies are smaller um, to find out the due date. How I did it is uh, first I found the sack with the head in there and then I um, I froze the image, okay, and then I clicked reference. When you click reference, you have multiple options. When you click refer reference again, there's two pages of options. I picked um, the head diameter for dog. Let me push reference again, which is number four. If you see HD, four dog HD head diameter. And then um, I place those X's actually with the number two. When you push the first one, it comes in right here. And then you can move it up and down. Okay, you wanna put it at the first dot, the first, um, first X where the head is, and then you push measure, and then you go with the side button to the next, to the end of the head, and then you push measure again, and then there is a due date calculator right here, this one says September 4th, um, so far all the ones I've gotten, the due dates were, <clears throat> start, were all in the beginning of September, so I got September 6th, September 4th, um, September 9 and she is actually due August 17th so <clears throat> this could be because we're doing this a little late in her pregnancy and now the machine is confused and I did read that um, if you don't do it earlier then you don't get the correct due date um, these are my settings here I tried the um, 5 Hertz 5 megahertz and it didn't I didn't get a good picture so in case you are trying to start and don't know what measurements to start with, I feel like this would be a good option for you. Um, machine is pretty easy to use. It just takes time. Um, you can clear the dots, the measurement dots by pushing clear. Okay, and then it all goes away. And then you can put them again by the two, move it around, up and down. To drop it, you push measure, and then go to the other side, push measure again. Oh, we're in a different um, reference point now, so let's see if we can go to dog's head, which is number four. So now I have to do the measurements again. Two the first X, push measure, go the other side, nope, push measure again, and now we're on September 6th, so the due dates that they're providing are, you know, within two days, well, this X is kind of like far away, so, um, yeah, I would recommend getting this earlier in the pregnancy if you're trying to figure out the due date. Um, in my situation, my dog didn't show for a while um, after she was five weeks. So I actually thought she didn't take, uh, but she did. Uh, counting fetuses is very hard once the dog is later in the pregnancy, but I did count three. 
so we'll see what she has. I hope this was a good educational video for you. Um, if you want to buy the ultrasound machine to confirm pregnancy, I do recommend it, um, but uh, earlier on in the pregnancy. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day.